Hi everyone, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I've got another X11 new features video for you. Today, I wanna to show you how to do this with your stairs. It's really easy, hang on. Uh, X11 is so cool with these new uh, features that we've got going on. I've started off with a set of stairs um, that is, is a, it, it turns, you know how to draw stairs, right? With a landing in between. So I'm going to draw a wall here against this upper section and move it into place like so. Let's do a tiled, um, window here so you can see what's happening and then I'm going to draw a straight half wall up against here the lower section automatically you can see that it's cutting it's following the slope of the stairway here which which is pretty awesome so far let's open up this stairway specification and I'm going to go into uh, Newell railing. Here we go. Not railing. Uh, oh, that, that's what I want. I want to turn off the railing at wall. Yes. For some reason I spaced it and thought I was opening the wall section. But I'm in the staircase specification. So under railing, uh, in the stairs, let me slow down. In the staircase specification, under the railing option, I'm going to turn off the railing at wall on the right for that upper section. And that actually turns off the railing of both sections of staircase. Now let's open up the wall specification or railing specification here. And I'm going to do a couple of things. First of all, we'll go to wall types and make it a pony wall. Interior 4 on top of interior 4 works, or you can change that to uh, railing fence on top of interior 4. Uh, you know, that's fine. Um, and then we're going to, let's see, specify railing. You can specify balusters or panels. We'll do balusters first. And in 3D, it's pretty tall, so I'm gonna pull this down about there. If we took a section, we could you know, take that exactly where we wanted it, like so. For the picture earlier, I made this a panel. Let's go to panels and Newell's balusters, select your panel. Uh, let's do glass like let's do like that click OK and there you are really really simple really up the game with stairs in that regard now let's look at the other set of stairs that I have Come on. I used to be able to. Um, hmm. There we go. Option. If you're on a Mac, it's now option. Click, drag, and it moves it around. Let's watch this. This is this is amazing. Uh, when you're doing, say, a winder set of stairs, I'm going to select this um, uh, landing, and I'm going to alter it a little bit here. Let's make that into a triangle. Things kind of fall apart here, but watch. I'm going to copy and mirror, reflect about this line here, and it's gonna automatically resize itself where it needs to go. Uh, just love this, just love this. Um, let's lock the tread depth here, 10 for First section 10, we'll take uh, six out of there. There we go. I, you don't have to calculate where those separate landings are. The landings actually communicate with each other. It's so exciting to me. And then um, 
secondly is that the whoops don't need another set of that I need to go here the material of this landing automatically uh, turns here and we get that following the longest length I'm not sure why this one doesn't the lower one doesn't follow the longest length but the top one certainly does um, for that so that's uh, the new features in Chief Architect Premier X11 uh, with stairs. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you've learned something. This has been fun for me to um, create. Drop me a like, subscribe, one of those directions. Check out the other videos in this X11 new features series. All right, take care.